Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September uh, 2017 monthly reading. This is meant to be a general reading. If it turns out to be a love reading, then so be it. But I'm looking for a general reading. I have pre-shuffled these for you. Ups and downs, Sagittarius. This is the beginning of September. Looks like you've been um, persevering on something. You've been standing your ground. And I think that you are starting to feel like you've accomplished something. So congratulations. It's the beginning of the September. Yeah, I think you're feeling very accomplished. Like you've, you've really been disciplined. And, you know, you've earned something. Okay? Um, here we have an unexpected choice in love. Congratulations, that's a good one too. Something unexpected um, in love. And it's usually a good thing. It's pretty positive. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, this is a message of um, security. Um, but it's slow. It's, it's a slow thing. It's something, to, winners don't quit. Don't quit. This is saying don't quit. Your perseverance is paying off. All right. Um, sometimes you get really down about it because it's hard. There's challenges. And I, sometimes you're like, oh my God, I've been doing this for so long. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. You know, it's like, the, this is a fight. And I'm, you know, but you have, you're so close to the fight being over. All right. Cause nines are almost a 10. 10 is a completion. So already in the first row, we have two nines. I'm telling you right now, you are so close to this be thing being over. And it's because you have been making it. You have been doing it. You have been changing. You have been taking care of yourself. You have a lot of small victories. Okay? So you have been doing this and it's, you know, one small victory after another and it's been taking its sweet little time. But, you know, I think that something, let's keep going, let's get some more cards. This right here, the Six of Cups, this is nostalgia. This is reminiscing about the past. Oh, there's the Devil card. Then we have the Empress, the Hanged Man, and the Moon. Fears. Oh, my God. We That is what it is. That's a big deal for you. you. You feel like you're doing this for nothing. The fear of the unknown. Okay? The fear of the unknown is right here. All right? But you've, you've come so far. You've overcome the fear. Look at all that you've accomplished so far. Okay, you may have done it through some vices, you know, you may have had some vices to get you that far, you know, whatever that may be, but you've come a long ways. I think that um, here we have the Empress. This is a very fertile, fertile woman, woman, creative, beautiful, um, loving, caring, nurturing, um, abundant. She may, she or he, but I think it's a woman, might be connected to your union, all right? Might be connected to your unexpected love. This right here is a Capricorn that could be connected to it as well. And this other deck in our my Rider weight deck, you know, it's two people and it's two people right there. So there's a good chance there's a, there's a deep, deep connection between you and somebody else. Okay, um, a very magnetic, attractive uh, connection, a lot of chemistry. Okay, and I think that it, uh, somebody has a very beautiful soul. All right, here is about sacrifice. <laughs> it's about sacrifice and letting go of your of your worry, letting go of your worry about. This is, I've been trying so hard and this is coming so slow. Is it ever going to happen? That. 
letting go of that. Okay? Because that's a fear of the uh, fear that it's never going to happen. Karma. Right next to the devil card. <laughs> Interesting. There's a lot of security and abundant, and abundance here. Okay? You might be coming into some money. All right, you might be coming into some money, but either way, you should be feeling very comfortable if you're not, okay? There's definitely enough. There's enough, and I think that, because you don't need very much at this at this time, I think. Um, here we have recuperation. This is recuperation or rejuvenation. It can be meditation, going within, taking a time out. But this is abundance, and this is the judgment card. This is a breakthrough. This is an wake up. This is a wake up call. Next to obsessions, addic addictions. This right here, this is a this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this would be you. And it's about and this is a fork in the road about where you're gonna focus your energy. Okay. So this is what this is, is is this is probably part of the worry. I mean part of your part of this month either way. You know, where are you gonna focus your energy? You're gonna focus on work or are you gonna focus it on some something else? I okay, this isn't good. If this is negative thinking, okay, well, you need to take a time out and you need to um, rejuvenate because you're so depressed, okay? So this over here doesn't look very good, okay? And this is where it looks, starts to look. Where are you going to focus your energy? You're going to focus your energy on your beauty, inner beauty. You're going to focus your energy on abundance, on abundance. You're going to focus your energy on finding love or being in love or in love in general, or are you going to focus your energy on dark, dreary, sadness, okay, you know, feeling ill and feeling depressed and crying over the past and having a lot of fear? This is where you choose. This is, you focus it this way or do you focus it this way? Which way is it going to be? Okay, because that's what's going to shape your month. Luckily, we have more cards over on this side. Barely, but we do. So, let's see what happens. I mean, you have, you have a opportunity. This is a raw opportunity for love. That's an awakening. It comes after an awakening. Okay? It comes after an awakening about something that maybe you are obsessed with or addicted to or um, attracted to that wasn't good for you. Maybe there was a high, uh, large ego or anger or you have some uh, awakening that affects this devil card. Okay, it affects the anger or it affects the addiction or it affects the obsession. The awakening affects it. Okay, and, and I think it probably it changes it because this is a new opportunity to love. So maybe you go from this to this. Because this is a breakthrough. And the, she's about love and beauty. And creativity. And it builds security and abundance. And a, and a foundation. And prosperity. And stability. And security. And abundance. Okay? So this, I mean, whatever this, this devil card is doing up here. I think you are going to have a breakthrough that moves you past it because it is past it towards love and that can be love towards anybody kindness
that Knight of Wands, it's an act now, think later kind of energy. So that guy, he acts on his him impulsive. He's impulses. He's very impulsive. That is in your reading. So when the opportunity strikes for you to show love to anybody, do it. Don't even think twice. Do it. Justice. It's about the honest truth. This is about putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking action, moving forward, doing what's right for you. It can be about travel, period, about going on a trip. I consider it you putting yourself in the driver's seat, making a change. There's something in the past that you, that is really bothering you, okay? Because you have the past here and the past here, and you have this worry, despair, depression, hurt, angst, not good, okay? With the four of swords right underneath it, there's something from your childhood or from the past that is haunting you. It's haunting you. And it's causing you a lot of fear. Or you're, you're letting it hold you back. You, haven't you sacrificed and feist, haven't you sacrificed enough of your life hanging on to this whatever it is from the past? I mean, come on now. It's time to focus over here. This is the look at all the cards over here. The past is just a little piece that can I mean don't focus on the past. You must focus on the future. That's your justice. That's bringing justice to yourself. And that's your awakening. And boy, it does bring love. That's you. And that's you not quitting. Not quitting. That spider had to weave that web. And it took a long time. You've you've been making steps and you've you've earned a lot. You've you've come a long way, but it's not over yet. I gotta have a drink. You still need to sever the ties. You need to sever the ties with the past. That's what you, then the web will probably be done. See, I just want to hang by a thread. All right, I'm going to give you one of my uh, vintage wisdom oracle cards. I can't say it for nothing in the world. No, oh, there it is. Abundance. Beautiful. I'm going to give you one of my whispers of love as well. And then I'm going to zoom it in. You know, abundance comes from within. Most of you would probably think abundance is money and all that. Well, that's a part of abundance. But the main part of abundance comes from within. I'm going to read it to you. But that's my interpretation of it. And this one is focus on love. We're going to zoom it in and then I'm going to read it to you. Sorry if you couldn't see that reading very well. I didn't even think to focus it in. Which was stupid of me. <coughs> Abundance. Here we see a depiction of Pomona, the Roman goddess of abundance and harvest of the ripe fruits and fields. She is adorned with all manner of wildflowers and forest flora as if to celebrate the yield of nature's bounty. Butterflies dance around her, representing transformation in a lightness of being. We can all relate to the wonderful feelings of connectedness when abundance bestows herself upon us. It can be felt physically with the harvesting of material success or good health. 
mentally in fruition of an idea or a dream, emotionally by finding new love, or spiritually through expansion of our soul. This card, <laughs> this card calls you to reflect on the abundance already in your possession. Be thankful for all you have and be open to receiving more goodness in your life. It may be your turn to enjoy the fruits of your labors in the harvest of hard-earned efforts. Or perhaps you are currently looking for ways to increase the flow of abundance into your life. From a practical perspective, decluttering helps you value what you already have and creates an empty space so more abundance can follow. Forgiveness plays a vital role in decluttering your emotions. By releasing the past, we liberate ourselves, freed from the gravity of weighty, karmic effects. We reconnect with the light, abundant flow of unconditional love. How wonderful. Gifting and tithing are known ways to increase the flow of prosperity. Now is a favorable time to establish a healthy balance between giving and receiving. In this materialistic age, it is common to mistake the measure of success and worth through the possession of money and status alone. There is nothing wrong with aspiring to have lovely things or to create the security and opportunities that money can buy. However, Western values generally encourage focus solely on the outward physical manifestation of abundance. We can be guided to find a healthy balance by focusing inwardly, I was just saying that, to discover spiritual riches available if, <laughs> I had to take speech in elementary school. We can be guided to find a healthy balance by focusing inwardly to discover spiritual riches available to us in every moment. Our divine nature expands far beyond the horizons of the material plane alone and has the power to banish fear and grant authentic peace, regardless of circumstance or status. These are just some of the fruits and bounties to be discovered as we journey home along the highway of life. In whatever form, may abundance in all its glory be yours. So Sagittarius, there's your reading for September. I am going to do love readings for September 1st through the 15th and the 15th through the 30th.